Tuesday the 16th of February was the day that the Catholic Archdiocese of Mombasa officially launched the 2016 Lenten campaign. The event was held at the Pastoral Center in Tudor. The launch was preceded by a talk to priests by Reverend Father Anthony Emeka from Malindi Diocese. So I'm a middle missionary and I come from Whitby, Ipini Parish. Um, it's not, I've been in Mombasa Diocese also for a meeting with the priest. Reverend Father Emeka touched on the need for social justice and a call to agents of evangelization to help in preaching peace. A peaceful and prosperous Kenya, my responsibility. When you look at what is happening at the moment in Kenya, Kenya is not really the Kenya that used to be. So now, if we have to reclaim the peaceful Kenya, me as my responsibility, what are we to do? That is the question we want to answer today. After the talk, there followed celebration of the Holy Mass led by Archbishop Martin Kibufa. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, Reverend Fathers, sisters, our lay faithful, and all the commissioners from our parishes, justice and peace, when you get to Jumuia, Wa Kristu wapendwa, tumsifuni Yesu Kristu. Leo tumekuja kuzindua na kulaunch officially the Lenten campaign. That is a book that has been prepared for our reflection on this period of Lent. Present in the mass also are commissioners of Catholic justice and peace. In his homily, the Archbishop highlighted the plight of bettering Kenya and the need for prayer to achieve peace. Leo tuko hapa kama nilivyo sema tulizozungumzana kwanza kuzindua rasmi kipindi cha mfungo. Na kipindi hiki kinaandamana na kitabu kitu ka kila mwaka kanatupotupa maelezo au kielelezo cha yale tuliyotakayohitaji kuyatafakari kipindi hiki. I remember in many places, even our brethren, Protestants, want to use it. I remember in several places when we met with um, the other uh, interfaith group, they were asking, when will be the Lenten campaign book out? We want to use it also because it is speaking of our situation. And I believe we can use it to also speak to our politicians that they become the kind of people Christ is calling us to be. You and I are challenged to be that light as we had this morning, to be that salt as we had this morning, to be that man or woman who sees there is hope. There is not just no help, hopelessness, but there is hope. Na kwa hayo machache, tumwekie mungu haya, aweze kutuongoza kwa ni yeye ni baba yetu wa mbinguni. During prayers of the faithful, the CJPC team prayed for the various needs of the country and the campaign, highlighting the different themes in the weeks of the Lenten period. The faithful were treated to a rare and beautiful offertory procession by St. Claret's Primary School from Kiembeni. CJPC coordinator gave her keynote speech for the day. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a time we as Catholic family 
we are called to seek God deeply by taking some time to examine and re-examine our action that has been hurting us. In her speech, she highlighted the need for people to work together so as to achieve the goals of this year's Lenten campaign. On the issue of insecurity, insecurity is a correlation of responsible citizens. Let us take it upon ourselves to have a secure and accessible community. Be your neighbor's keeper, as Jesus has asked us to. We expected to be on the lookout and to keep safe too. Issues on security, child abuse, responsible citizenry, need to help change minds of those radicalized, need for love and unity in our country, and the need to strengthen the family unit were addressed. The Archbishop led the brief ceremony of launching the Lenten campaign. The life that God has given us, I hope, it motivates us to protect our children and to make sure that law enforcers follow the law and protect the rights of all Kenyans. That's what will bring us peace and prosperity. Thank you. Thank you. I knew that's a very important matter to Mombasa now. And now we bless the material. Can we stand? Pajina la baba, la moana, na la rom, takatifu. Sada wetu ni katika jina la Bwana. Na Bwana awe nani? Na tuombe. E Mungu Mwenyezi kwa rehema yako. Tunamuomba uweze kuibariki vitabu hivi kwa kuwa watenda haki kwa wote karibu nasi. Naomba baraka hii ishukie sisi na vitabu hivi kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu. Kwa jina la Baba na la Bwana na la roho mtakatifu na kukaa nasi daima na milele. in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wish to call the team from Taita, Dinari. Lenten campaign booklets and materials were then distributed to deans and representatives of different church groups and sodalities together with religious groups and institutions. There followed the blessing of CJPC commissioners ready to be heralds of peace and justice. <laughs> Commissioners ambao wametoka parukia na makundi mbalimbali wakiwa wambo tayari kukutuwatume uwapeleke hizo sehemu za mbali na za karibu wawewewe huko sehemu za mbali na za karibu Mange isi, mange idu The need for justice, peaceful coexistence and respect for human rights among other issues truly need all to work together to achieve we have recognized that we have indeed a responsibility because this are real, these realities are living with us in the very, very areas of our operations. It's not only in the family, but also in the community. It's not only in the country, but also in the villages. And most of all, in all areas of life, we need all to be agents of peace. Thank you and wish you all well. <laughs> My name is Lilian Japani, the Catholic uh, Akdes of Mombasa, Justice and Peace Executive Secretary. Today we had our Akdes and Lenten campaign launch 2016. We, our theme this year was um, Peaceful and Prosperous Kenya, my responsibility. My appeal to the people is for all of us to remain faithful to ourselves, faithful to God, and faithful to our county, and faithful to our country. If I play my role as a person, 
to, to keep peace and the other person plays her, her role or his role to keep peace. We'll have a peaceful Mombasa, we'll have a peaceful Kenya, and we'll have a peaceful world. And that's the message that we are all called to, to be peaceful and to have prosperity. Thank you so much and God bless you and have a peaceful land. Bye-bye. We all are commissioners for peace and justice. Let us work together. With prayer, we shall be able to achieve all that we hope for and even more. Let us pray so that we have a peaceful and just Kenya. Do have a beautiful and peaceful Lenten period and be a herald for peace.